Hello my crafty friends. Today I have an easy and inexpensive spring inspired craft for you. It is still sweater weather in my neck of the woods. Today happens to be very gloomy. So to create something that's uh, spring-like just gives me a lot of joy in my heart. This is really simple. Anyone can do it. Um, you'll just need some branches and some faux blossoms from the dollar store. I got these from my yard. They're actually from our crepe myrtle tree. I regularly prune it back each year in February, so the timing was perfect. And since uh, Mardi Gras is ending this week, um, Easter is just right around the corner, so this will make an excellent Easter tree once I start putting um, my spring decor out in March. So you're looking for branches that have a lot of offshoots and you can use either a hot glue gun or if you want to involve um, smaller fingers that you don't want the um, heat element, just a craft glue works as well. You might have to hold the blossom a little bit longer. So I've been working on these branches for about 20 minutes. It's a, it's a pretty quick craft. And you just pop off the blossoms from your dollar store plant. They come off really easily. And you take a single blossom, add a little bit of hot glue to the end, just a smidge. And then right where the branch splits, often known as the bud, you'll just place it right in there. So the two branches somewhat support each blossom. You might get a hot glue gun tail, just pull it off and simply repeat the process. You have to hold it for two to three seconds. Blossoms um, that are often in bloom this time of year are the cherry blossom, forsythia, in some parts of the country dogwood. So there's a wide variety of color palettes that you can seek out to use in your craft. I wanted something fairly neutral since I am going to hang our collection of hand-painted German and Austrian eggs. Those are brightly colored, so I'd rather the focus be on the eggs and not the bloom itself. And it's just a little bit of finessing. And you just can somewhat by putting it in a vase, you can somewhat keep turning to see where do I need to fill in. And sometimes you'll see, okay, there's a little hot glue gun tail I need to pull off. But um, because the branches were from my own yard and I'm going to use just one grouping of blossoms, this craft is about $1 to make very simple and unlike real live blossoms you can reuse them year after year i hope you have enjoyed this and i'll share my easter tree in a few weeks thank you